Okay. So the situation in Bosnia, um, the protest demonstration started on the 5th of February uh, with uh, five groups of workers of uh, privatized companies, factories, uh, which united and had a protest march on the 5th February. It was a Wednesday. Uh, during that march, a lot of ordinary citizens approached them and joined them in that march. So the starting number of 500 workers raised two, two or 3,000 people at the end of the march. The next day, uh, there was a whole city demonstration with about six to 7,000 people, uh, with uh, the first clashes with the police after some of the demonstrators started build, uh, throwing rocks at the parliament building. Uh, on the Friday, the situation escalated because uh, the demonstrators started to throw fireworks at the building. So the building of the regional parliament uh, was aflame. Uh, in the meanwhile, in other cities in Bosnia, uh, there were demonstrations in support of the demonstrations in Tuzla. And on the Friday, in those cities that have parliamentary buildings, uh, the demonstrators started throwing fireworks at them too. After that, it came to some clashes with the police in a lot of cities in Bosnia. Uh, after the clashes, on, a, on the weekend that followed, uh, the situation was a little bit uh, more peaceful. Then the people uh, started having a list of demands and they felt they should organize, so they organized something like public assemblies, we call them plenum, uh, in every bigger city. Uh, the plenums are organized as public meetings. Everyone is allowed, except members of the political parties. They are not allowed on the plenums. Uh, everybody on the plenum has a right to discuss something, has two minutes to talk about their demands, ideas, plans. After that, the plenum discusses the ideas shown and said on the plenum and votes. Uh, the vote is uh, held by the majority, 50% plus one vote. After that, the demands that are voted on the plenum are either sent to the working group for formulation, for a better formulation uh, according to the law and the economic situation, or if the demand is okay, as it is, then it's automatically uh, given to a group of people who then go with the demands and send them and literally give, give them to the parliament. Uh, currently, there are three bigger plenums in Sarajevo, Mostar and Tuzla, and a lot of smaller ones in smaller cities. Uh, currently, the situation is that uh, every day there are demonstrations parallel to the plenums from 12 o'clock until the evening and uh, a lot of roads and streets, the main streets are blocked the whole day. Uh, the last informations I have from Sarajevo are that the demands of the Sarajevo plenum are accepted and will be voted on them at the cantonal regional parliament. Uh, currently, we are working at the plenum in Sarajevo uh, to achieve a interplenum council between all the bigger, bigger plenums and are trying to organize uh, mass demonstrations in Sarajevo because uh, everything did start in Tuzla and Tuzla is the most progressive plenum with the most uh, with the best demands but uh, as Sarajevo is the capital city of Bosnia the, all the main buildings are in Sarajevo so uh, mass demonstrations has to be held in Sarajevo